paying for an uptime monitor doesn't make sense because you can have this self-hosted on your own BPS and it's open source. So once you have this installed, you don't have to make any payments. It's called Uptime Kuma and I'm going to show you how to install it right now. Hey, what's up everyone? So this is Uptime Kuma and it's a self-hosted solution. That means that if you have your own BPS, just go ahead and install this and you'll have a full functioning monitoring tool for your websites, domains, the DNS, records, and a whole bunch of things that you can monitor, even creating a monitor page to monitor all those monitors. Sounds crazy, but I'm going to show you all of that in this video. So this is Uptime Kuma and this is like their main website where it tells you that it's open source and you can start installing this right now on your BPS. Now on this video, I'm going to show you how to do this on Hostinger. That means that it's going to be a super easy, quick install installation using Hostinger. But before I show you how to do it, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is actually Hostinger. They're providing the BPS for me to install Uptime Kuma to show you how to do it. Now, I would recommend that you jump over to the services, go to BPS hosting, and you'll be able to find the BPS plans that fits your needs. Now, in this case, there's KVM1 that starts at $4.99 and all the way up to KVM8 for $19.99. Now, for an uptime monitor, I would highly recommend that you go roughly around the KVM2, but you can definitely get off with KVM1. The only reason I would jump to KVM2, 4, or 8 is if I'm going to monitor, I don't know, 100 requests or every five seconds or just do a whole lot of resource intensive task with the uptime monitor. But if you're just going to monitor your websites or clients' websites, that is not like full blown out 100 websites, you're good to go with KBM one, right? So let's go ahead and select it, which is 499. And I'm going to show you how to apply a coupon code that's going to reduce the price even more. Now, once you are here, the first thing that hosting is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 24 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Plus, you'll be good to go for two years. Now, over here, you'll be able to view the subtotal. But if you click on have a coupon code, and type in my code or paste it in, the price is going to drop to $107 with 78 cents. And that's for two years paid off for a BPS. You'll be able to install your uptime monitor with ease. Now over here, you have the option to select the server location, which gives you all these options available that you can install and do select the one that fits your needs closest to where you are. Now, if you are going to install uptime Kuma from the beginning, you will select applications, go ahead and check out this one uptime kuma we're going to confirm and we are going to continue with the process now if you already have a bps here on hostinger and you installed a random operating system you don't have to worry you can go ahead and change it to uptime kuma all right to do that go over to your panel go to operating system and in operating system we're going to select application in an application we are going to find uptime kuma so it's around here here it is i'm going to change the os i'm going to select yes do be aware that it's going to erase everything that's in the BPS, okay? So if you already had a website or something else that was useful, don't do this, okay? So make sure that if you do this, you are going to remove the past installation, including everything that's inside of that BPS, okay? So let's give it a few seconds for this to be finished and we'll come back. Okay, here we go. It is now installed. Let's go into manage application. And this is a first time installation. So that means that we're going to choose a language, in this case, English. Give this a username and I'll just select test and I'll use same password I used for the BPS just for testing purposes. Okay, here we go. I am now inside of Uptime Kuma and every time that I come into this website, I can go ahead and log in. Now, since I've already set up the login information, I will now have to log in every single time that I come into this site. So we have a full featured Uptime Monitor here inside of our BPS. Now here we're able to add a brand new monitor and there's several options available with Uptime Kuma. What I love about it is that it's full featured. I mean, you get everything with this. There's no limitations. There's no amount of monitors that you can uh, add here. They let you do whatever you want practically. Okay. So the type of, type of monitors that are available are, for example, website, which is HTTP or HTTPS. You can also monitor TCP ports, ping. You can also do keywords, JSON queries, keywords with the GRPC, which I don't know what that is, but you have the option there. You can monitor DNS, Docker containers. You can do push. You can do Steam game server, game dig, a, a bunch of things that you can do here. Okay. But the first thing you want to do is obviously monitor your websites, domains, etc. Right. So let's give this a friendly name and I'm just going to say test and I'm going to monitor my website, which is sasmaster.net. Here it is. And the heartbeats interval every 60 seconds. 
Now you decide what intervals you want this to be checking. In this case, it's going to do it every single minute, which I think is fine just for testing purposes. Okay. Then the retries in case it goes out. So if it's down, maybe I want to do three retries before I get the notification. So do check it three times. And if it's still down, then notify me. Sometimes websites will go down for a bit, five seconds, 10 seconds, etc., and it's back to normal. So this avoids getting a notification for a site that just went down for a little bit. All right. Next, we have the heartbeat retry interval, which is the, the, the next time that it's going to try the request timeout. So every 48 seconds, the recent notification if down X times consecutively. OK, so in this case, zero. And then we have advanced options. So if you want to choose uh, checkout certificate, ignore TLS, upside down mode, max redirects, etc. There's a bunch of options available here. OK, you can set up your notifications here. So where do you want to get notified? And you got all these available options. Do be aware that you do need to set these up to get the notification. Since you are hosting this, it's not like a third provider that they took care of the API and the, the setup, for example, for Slack, uh, Signal, etc. You have to do this. So set that up. For example, email SMTP, which is what you want to set up to get an email notifications. You need to set up the SMTP to send those out. All right. And you set up all the details right here. Then you got your setup proxy in case you want to use that. In this case, to monitor your own websites, you won't need a proxy. Then you got your HTTP options. Is it going to be get, post, put, patch, etc.? In this case, would be get. If you want to choose the JSON headers, authentication and a bunch of things. And even if you want to add a tag in the description, I mean, it's crazy the amount of things that you can monitor with this uptime Kuma, right? Now, if you want to choose something else, you will get different settings. So it updates and it's going to choose different things. So for, for example, if you want to monitor a DNS, will you have that option available here? Be aware, like I told you in the beginning, this won't cost you a single cent more, but what it only costs the BPS. So no payment for the amount of domains that you're checking, the inner balls and all that. Most of the time, they'll try to limit you on the amount of inner balls. They'll say you can only monitor uh, every five minutes or every two minutes. In this case, you don't have those limitations. All right. Something else I want to show you is that you can create status pages. So in status page, you can call this status uh, test right here for this and go ahead and create it. So from the monitors that you you created, you can add them right here listed. And it's pretty cool because if you have a secondary monitor, you can view them there. Just keep this page on and you're going to view viewing the uptime right there live. And if something goes down, you'll be able to view it. So it's pretty cool. Plus, you also want to have this if you want to have, for example, if you have a SaaS and you want to notify someone if something is down, you can do so through here. So, for example, the SaaS could be working, but the API is probably down, right? Or a specific certain uh, site page or something like that is down. And you can have a monitor like this to let your clients know that something is down for a bit. So don't worry, they're going to take care of it. All right. So you can create these pages and it's just super easy to do everything here in Uptime Kuma. It's definitely a, a fantastic service that you can start using to start monitoring your websites, the DNS or whatever you want to monitor. Plus, it's super easy to install with the one click install here on Hostinger. So definitely, if you want to grab a VPS on Hostinger, do check out that link in the description and install time just like you saw right here on this video. And that is a wrap.